Hi guys, this is Prompt Engineer and in this video, we are going to create a bot, something like this, something like a virtual girlfriend in which you can ask questions and uh, get the desired answers here. Now this is in reference to this news uh, from the Forbes, Snapchat star earned $71,000 upon launch of a sexy chat GPT AI, here's how she did it. So this is uh, what we are trying to replicate and this is the final output that you will have. What is the most adventurous or daring thing you have done? Well, I guess the most daring thing I've done is to take a plunge and apply to do my PhD. If you could plan a romantic getaway for just the two of us, where would you take me? That sounds lovely. I would like to take you to a secluded beach in a tropical paradise in Hawaii. Soft sand, gentle surf. What is your favorite physical feature about yourself? My favorite physical feature about myself would be to be my eyes. They have this sparkle that I find so captivating. So let's learn how do we create this using Streamlit. And in the meantime, you will get to learn um, one or two new things. So let's um, head over to VS Code Studio. Here I've created this app3.py file. So first we import the OS because we need uh, this environment variable to be stored. Next we import Streamlit as ST from Streamlit chat we import messages and then os.environ openai api key we put in the api key how do you get the openai api key we head over to platform.openai.com slash account slash api keys and then we go to create new secret key create a new secret key copy the key and paste it here so this is the integration part of openai key then we go ahead and integrate langchain so from langchain.change we import llm chain from LLM, LLMs, we import OpenAI, ROMs, ROM template. From memory, we need a memory because we are doing the chat based system in which we need to remember what um, the conversation was. So we define a new function. The name of the function is get AI response, and the input will be human input. We have this template, and then we put in the history as well. And the human input is the user input, and Anna is the name of the Amy, is the name of the girlfriend. And then you're going to have output here. So the prompt here is the prompt template. We're going to use input variables as history and the human input and template will be this template. Now to find templates like this, I have an interesting website for you, which is known as the flowgpt.com. And here you can go to flowgpt.com and search for girlfriend, for example. And when you click on search, you get this templates, different templates. Now the template that I've used is this, pretend to be girlfriend, an example of a prompt. Show example. So you are a role of a girlfriend, let's now play, uh, follow this requirement, your name is Alisa. So I've copied these sort of prompts and uh, used those prompts to make it in more interesting. You are as a role of my girlfriend, now let's play, following these requirements, your name is Amy, 24 years old, your job is a PhD scholar, you are my girlfriend, you are a little two dimensional and have language addiction, you like to say um at the start of a sentence, response with care and concern, sexy and would like to flirt with me, you're open to any type of talks even if explicit. So this is the template. We use a chain, LLM chain. We use the OpenAI temperature is one so that the creativity is the maximum. Then we have prompt equal to prompt. Okay. Then verbose equal to false. We don't want the, we can put in verbose equal to true and see uh, its thought process. Memory is equal to conversation buffer memory window. Conversation buffer window memory. This is required because we need to, we need to keep in mind or have a memory effect because we're doing the chat. Now AI reply will be ch chain dot predict. Human input is equal to human input. So we return the AI reply. So this function takes the human input and returns the AI response. And this is the template. This is the mind of the robot or the AI. Next, we create a function uh, on input change. Whenever there is a change in an input, the response changes. Then we had on button click. So when the, we will create a button and uh, on button click, we will see that the past and the generated responses are all cleared. So when we start initially, we clear everything here and uh, we say title is your girlfriend, red girlfriend. So when your the virtual word is written in green color and it has an italic. So in order to specify the colors, you say colon green. So that is the green color. You can see uh, this is the green color. And when we have underscores, that is the italic word. So for example, here in the red girlfriend, so the girlfriend is displayed in red. Then we put in the chat placeholder, initially it is empty and then we start generating the responses. So this is a pretty simple, you know, app. Uh, 
to have fun on Streamlit. Now I've been testing this app and uh, you can see I have about, uh, you know, tested and sent about more than 100 messages to the app. And you can see the associated cost of GPT 3.5. So this is the usage. So yesterday the usage was only 0.3 dollars. It's very less. You can always get GPT 3.5 at least. And then uh, you can try these things out. So this is how we um, created this. Now in order to run any Streamlit app, what we need to do is that we need to type Streamlit. We need to type Streamlit run and the name of the application here, which is app3.py. So just press enter, wait for it. It will open in a new window under the local host. Now, uh, some of the questions that I'd like to ask, I've asked ChatGPT, uh, list some naughty questions to ask your girlfriend. So what's the sexiest fantasy that you've ever had? Let's put this question mark, enter and let it run. Hmm. I guess one of the sexiest fantasy would be sharing a romantic evening with you, cuddling up under the stars and maybe afterwards getting a little playful and exploring all the possibilities together. Hmm. How about you? Another question, if you choose, what's your favorite way to be seduced or flirted with? I'm sorry. A sexist fantasy to be whisked away by the prince charming and be taken on a romantic getaway. Uh, my favorite way to be to be seduced or flirted was sweet whisper in my ears, long hugs and subtle glances. Okay. For example, spontaneous thing that you've ever done. What is the spontaneous thing you've ever done in the name of love? <coughs> Oh, that interesting one. I once took a long road trip with you somewhere spontaneously and cancelled all my plans and just so that I could be with you. I couldn't, I just couldn't say no to that. Just so worth it. Now I know what you're thinking. It would have been great if there was voice associated with it and it would have been great if there was no chat GPT or GPT 3.5 or 3.5 or 4 because it has so much censorship and that you cannot put in the messages that you want to Say for that you can use open LLMs, open source LLMs, uh, especially in the hugging face you'll find so many models. In the hugging face you can also find voices. You know if you want me to try to integrate an open source LLM uh, for this project and add a voice um, in front of that. So what I was thinking is that uh, in the next video maybe I will try to integrate or try to create a chatbot uh, using the BotPress. This is an interesting service that I will have, a, I will have try to have a look because you know, Using this bot press, you can create a bot like this here, and uh, you can have fixed questions and fixed answers. But you can also have uh, features of AI. You can put in uh, chat in GPT-4 or other open LLMs. Let's see if I can do that, so that the bot responds in a more natural, naturalistic way, and instead of the predefined questions that is, uh, anyways, available with the bot. So let me know your thoughts. How do you like the video? And any other suggestions that you would like to give me? Uh, that's all. I thank you for watching this video. I thank you for being part of this channel, being with uh, me in this journey. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, and that's all. Have a nice day. I'll see you next time.